Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more EU for the rights of man playing as Ethiopia. Happy Monday everybody. It's a new week, last week was very productive, and by which productive I mean we spent the entire time fighting a single war against Spain, but it was a glorious war. A glorious war indeed. Let's take a look-see real quick. How's the unrest looking? Pretty bad in a lot of these places. So I'm thinking that the next target is obviously the Commonwealth. We want to take down the Commonwealth. I want to take over Constantinople. The rest of, you know, modern-day Turkey, this area here. And then I want to feed off a lot of territory to Greece. Because with Greece, I plan on holding them for the rest of the game. So I want Greece to be large and powerful. I want them to be as strong as France, if possible. So we'll take the rest of this territory for myself. I'll feed off pretty much everything from the Commonwealth and Hungary that I can off to Greece and make them big and strong. Heck, maybe all the way push up this Aust Austria. Who knows? I mean, I've got imperialism. At this point, anything freaking goes. Anything freaking goes at all. Eh, but anyway. So, we have peace truce... Uh, sorry, peace truce timers. We have truce timers with Sweden, Spain, and all of their stuff. And that is it. So, for example, Cuba, if I wanted to just kill you real quick and take your two territories, I could totally do that? Oh, yeah, I could totally just do that. Yeah, we'll go ahead and start moving up that direction. How's my overextension looking right now? Only 46.8%. We are perfectly fine. Bohemia now feels strong enough to rival Austria. Austria does not feel strong enough to be in the coalition anymore. And some people are rivaling Malacca. Native assimilation in a place. Cool. Uh, what is this? Oh. Yeah, let's go ahead and land these guys. I forgot that I have one troop here. Uh, how are we looking as far as our colonies? We do have three colonists, so I'm not worried about the maintenance. Fur in a new place. That's good. Uh, we can go ahead and march these guys up here as well. There we go. Let's turn off all of our forts. No reason to be paying for all of these right now. And the unrest is actually completely manageable right now. Kind of surprised by this. So the Spanish separatists have a 22.8% chance right now. These are all Spanish? No, Portuguese, of course. Sevilla. Yeah, some pretty good stuff down over there. Once I cord this stuff up, I mean, you got some reasonable development in a few places, but particular Seville. That's really quite good. I could make Seville into a state. Let's take a look at the areas. Uh, interesting. Lower Andalusia. This whole thing is considered a state. These four territories. So I'm missing a couple of territories in the state, actually. Which is unfortunate, but we'll get that eventually in the future. Yeah, getting this uh, as to a state so we can have 0% autonomy and turn this into a really powerful trade province would be good. Because, as we continue to get more of Seville, a lot of money is going to flow into this node. And I might want to start collecting trade over here at some point. Alternatively, we start making some more pushes into the Genoan trade node. And I have a lot of other stuff flowing into that as well. We could actually get into the end node. That would also be an acceptable way to move forward. Lots of money to be had from that. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see what's available to us. Alright, guys. All of you come together. Uh, you need to get a general. We will put, I don't know, this guy in charge, for example. And uh, let's just murder Cuba real quick. It shouldn't take very long. Hey, Cuba! Imperialism! Go kill. We're just gonna we're just gonna fill out more of Africa real quick. Lost a claim on Eif. We've lost our stuff on Noop. Okay. Well, how many other claims do I have? I have a couple on Mali. Molly, who are you allied to still? You're still allied to Noop. Really? Really wish you would stop that. Well, getting a claim on Noop and Eif is... Well, Eif doesn't matter. But Noop itself, 17 developments. That could be worthwhile. 19 and Benin. Even better. Let's go ahead and start uh, fabricating some claims against them. I mean, even with Imperialism, saving a little bit of admin power. I mean, this game is more about admin power than anything else. So, really, there's just no good reason not to. Why don't you come over here, guys? Get a couple of infantry. Go to Songye. Okay. 7% chance already on this fort. It's no big deal. We honestly could probably declare war on the Congo as well. They are also not in a coalition against me. I mean, yeah. I mean, what, what reason is there to let these nations exist? We might as well finish them off. My name will grow larger. Take over the entire continent of Africa. It'll be great. Might as well. Okay, military leader has left us. No! Another one bites the dust. ba da dum bum bum pa pa Another one bites the dust. It's the one leading the siege. Of course it was. Why freaking wouldn't it be? Let's hire up a new one. He's terrible. 131. I'm not, I, I, I do not approve. Let's go ahead and put the super siege general in charge. We'll move him over here. 
I'm gonna get rid of, uh, let's hire a new one and see. Okay, that's, that's, that's better. Let's get rid of you. Don't need you. A 3-3-1-1 is pretty balanced across the board. I can make some fair use out of that. More importantly, though, let's just try to get as much siege progress going on here as possible. Still haven't had a wall breach, though. A little frustrating, but hey. What can you do? Right? What can you do? What's this? Why do I have a... Oh. I have a heavy. Oh, well, hello, heavy. Uh, I think I got you from an event, actually. Totally forgot about that. That's kind of funny. Hey, where's my navy? There's my navy. Nope, that's my army. Where's my navy? Navy? Navy! Hi. We're gonna go ahead and send a new tr uh, transport over here. I totally forgot about these guys. We had to hide them from the Spanish fleet, if I recall correctly. Let's go ahead and bump up to speed 5. We've won the Siege of Cuba. Uh, let's declare a quick war against the Congo before we do anything else. Make sure that no one's able to join a coalition. We'll peace out from them. Doop a doop doop. Hello! I am Lindsay Lohan! Imperialism! Kill. Alright, Cuba. As soon as my diplomat gets back, I, I promise I will end this war with you. Send a couple troops over here. Bam. By the way, I saw a comment um, asking, is Mexican Mexico allied to Mexico? No, no, no. Actually, Mexico... Mexican Mexico is Mexico. I know it's confusing. So the, the way that this works, this game works now, uh, they made a change. I think it was it was either in the Rights of Man or the previous expansion. I can't remember for sure. But, um... So, for example, look at this. English Mexico, okay? This is to say that this area belongs to England in the Mexican region, but it is not... See this Mexican region right here? But it is not... It is not called England because England's capital is not in this region. All of this does belong to Mexico. But Mexico's capital is down here, and it is separated from the rest of the area. So they call this Mexican Mexico because Mexico, who exists in the Central America, owns a region of Mexico that the... the, the I, I don't know, the region. It's, it's very confusing, I agree. I think some of you guys may understand what I'm trying to say with that. I don't know if there's a better way to explain it, honestly. It's freaking confusing. I've never seen that happen before with Mexican Mexico. It's hilarious. But anyway. 56 ducats, that's all you got? You suck. Alright, well, 18 power and practically no overextension or aggressive expansion. Bye-bye. That's easy enough. Core and... Why can't I core Songye? Why not? You cannot make it into a province. Oh, I forgot. Congo has a core there. All right, let's go ahead and convert them. That'll take eight months. It's not a big deal. Doop a doop 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 doop. And come on, win the siege. Thank you. I actually didn't need to con uh, convert that. This war is going to be over in like two months, but whatever. We'll go ahead and take the rest of this as well. 147 ducats. Let's have you revoke all your cores because I am tired of having these exist. Doop a doop 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 doop. -doo. Uh, doop, doop, doop. Congo shall cease to exist in every possible way. We are going to purge them from history. Goodbye. Congo's gone. And they're gone. All right. Uh, how are we looking as far as that conversion? I could cancel it, but... Meh. What's my mission, by the way? Conquer Adern. Ah, yes. A place in um, the Commonwealth that we wanted to take. Let's get rid of these forts. Don't need them. I actually don't need these forts at all anymore. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Don't need to pay for those. Who am I going to fight? There's no one here in Africa. And I'm pretty sure now that I've taken the full coast, I don't think anyone has access to colonize any other parts of Africa either. So I'm pretty sure we're good to go. There's a single Spanish colony here, the Fernando Po. Which is annoying, but what can you do? Anyways, who? Uh, all right. So, um... Unrest? There's a fair bit. Terrain, savanna, jungle. Let's go to the jungle. Jungle is far more concerning to me. Uh, and we'll put a different general in charge. You. Someone I don't really care about. Save the siege general for something that matters. I can get rid of a couple more forts, actually. I know that we're losing some army tradition by doing this. I'm going to keep some of these, though. Some of these will be okay in the future war against Mali and Noop. But yeah, no need to pay for them. Uh, surprisingly, once again, the Spanish and the Portuguese, um, not really much of a threat as far as the unrest. So, hey, that's pretty cool. 62.4% overextension. Okay, so more of Africa's looking pretty good right about now. We do still need to conquer Madagascar, need to fill in the rest of this area with colonies, need to kill Noop and Mali, and then pretty much everything will be mine with the exception of a single territory from France and Spain. 
but the continent shall be mine. Actually, does this... I guess the Canaries kind of counts as African as well. So two. Uh, there's, there's, there's two Spanish territories. We can embrace an institution, which I don't need to do for another 12 years. So let's not worry about that. Trade League of Genoa has been disbanded. I'm actually kind of surprised that Genoa exists, but they do have two provinces over here. Hello. Uh, you, sir, what are you doing here? Why don't you, um, why don't you come down here? I don't need you in France. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but that is not where I need you. Mountains and mountains. This army is actually taking attrition. Let's split them up a little bit. That'll help. Let's finish up a colony. Done. Senku. Thank you. Senku. Thank you, Senku. Uh, do we want to fill in a hole? Do we want to do what? What about all this stuff? What has the highest developments? We got three, three, and five. Three, 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 three. Okay, so technically this is the best one to send to. So let's go ahead and do that. Not that it matters too much, really. How are we looking in Australia? Pretty decent, I think. Um, still have a couple of colonies that we are finishing off, so we can hand these off to the Aboriginal territories. Give them Sweden. I'm sorry, not Sweden. New Zealand. If we ever do go to war with Sweden again, and I imagine we probably will at some point, we'll feed the rest of that off to them as well. So I got 30-something thousand troops just sort of sitting over here. Actually, 60,000 troops. With nothing in particular to do. So yeah, we probably should make use of them at some point, shouldn't we? But what to do with them? Get more problem power in the Indonesian area, I suppose. If we can control Malacca, that's a lot of trade that flows into um, Africa or north up through India and eventually toward Alexandria. Having a lot of control in this region is a good thing. Alternatively, I can't read what this says. The Malukas? This is another area we could try to control. We already have pretty much dominant control of Australia because they're going to have to transfer their trade power to us, so that's not such a big deal. Uh, who's this guy again? Ternate. You are not allied to anybody. Okay, uh, how many ships you got? Ternate, 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 Navies. Zip, zip, zip. By name, please. Thank you. There you are. Okay, 42 ships in total, mostly transports and light ships. You know, one thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to take this navy and I'm going to tell them to upgrade all the ships. Okay, that's pretty much everything. We're going to try to modernize our navy here. Would love to have a roaming navy that was able to, you know, actually fight in Indonesia, but I don't want to pull my trade ships off of Alexandria. I will, however, send the three-decker to go and join and help protect it. It's not much of an escort, but it, it technically counts for something. Otherwise, the Aboriginal territories are starting to look pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I've seen a lot of requests, by the way, that I push forward to get getting colonial nations and everywhere else and just conquer the world. Honestly, World Conquest series are not that entertaining to me. I don't find them interesting. I like taking a theme, right? I like the idea that we're trying to take over all of Africa and stuff. and I like the fact that we were able to create the Aboriginal territories, but I don't care about turning the entire world to Ethiopia. First off, I don't think it can happen. Not before the official end of the game. In 1821, I think it is? I just don't see that likely happening at all. Um, we'd have to play well beyond that. We'd have to extend the game, which I, I just, I'm not interested in doing. Heck, by then, it would not surprise me if the, um, the new expansion is out before that. We could get some money, which, by the way, just increased. Or a chance of getting some... We could just get some prestige. I don't need the prestige, and I don't need a new advisor, so... Sure, the death of the merchant, and he left all the money to the state, which is an incredibly generous thing to do. Why you would leave your money to the state? I don't know, but you did. Hey, transports, we have no need for you. Why don't you go ahead and dock up? We can't upgrade you. Um, should I build some more ships? Probably. Let's see. We can afford to get a few more. Let's go ahead and get some more trade ships in the Mediterranean region. Both of those seem pretty good to me. More ships. Cast a spell against Majapahit. They are insulting me now, which I don't know why they think that's a good idea, but okay. And now we can do a whole bunch of conversions on these Catholics. Thank you. Easy peasy lemon escabizi. So, Ethiopian particularists are a bit of a problem in some of my new uh, territories. Catholic zealots, because we're converting, of course. Portuguese and Spanish, remarkably controlled. I kind of wanted them to fire so that I could free up these armies and go march on the Commonwealth, but they're not letting me. Which I think is very interesting. 
I'm just going to take one cannon off of this and send it down here so we can have better balanced stacks. Everything else should be relatively balanced, yes? Uh, yeah. That's about, that's about what I would want it to be. Another leader has left us. No! Hire a new one. He's got really good maneuver, but that's it. Hire a new one. It's terrible. New one. Ugh, God. Such remarkably bad candidates. I mean, there's an argument to be made to save the um, high maneuver general. In the rare event that we need it for a fort, but I don't care. I don't really care that much. All right. Uh, we have a lot of spy network going on against the Commonwealth. Let's go ahead and make some claims. Constantinople, of course. Uh, Burgas and Dern. I think we already have a claim on this because of our cast our mission. So that's not a big deal. Uh, Silistria. That could be pretty good. Of course, claims for me don't necessarily matter. Because I'm only going to take these three from them for my personal territory. And I definitely am keeping Constantinople. I'm sorry. 44 development is amazing. I know Greece would love to have it. I'm aware. But I also would love to have it. And I'd like to have personal control over the streets. So, yeah, no. Mine... Not for you, Greece. Hey, France, what do you got? 50,000, 53,000 troops just sitting here taking attrition for. What, what, what's that for? Nobody knows. Okay, Senku. So, Ethiopian particulars should be reducing now. At least a little bit. Not sure why it's so high. Let's go ahead and get a claim against... Oh, I need 30. Oh, okay. Anti-clericalism. Money, autonomy, clergy, burgers, or upset the clergy. All right, let's take a look at our estates. We can mostly afford to upset the burgers. That's all right. Let's do that. Hey, clergy, let's establish the New World Missions. Um, I could demand support. 100 power. Not that I can use it right now, but... That's a state, I suppose. And they need influence before... Oh, interesting. They actually need influence before they can do this grant New World Charters here. We're actually a little low. Let's lose the prestige. Um, wow, is there nothing I can do right now that'll get them more influence? No, there's not. I do not have any way of getting them more influence right now. That's interesting. Huh. It's probably because of the event we just had. We would have had 40. I probably should have done this beforehand, but I didn't realize. Okay, well. That's that, I suppose. Um, alright. Moving on. Playing on speed 5 is so awesome. Another general's gone. Gosh, dang it. Stop it. Whoa, there we go. A 4-4. We're losing a lot of military power now, but... Uh, can I... Do I want to... Do I want to end some of these... Policies? I actually don't think I can. I can't repeal them until 1721. So I got two more years minimum with these policies. Minimum. Uh... Call to arms. Okay. They promise us territorial gains. So we're involved now. Whether we like it or not, we are going to war. I knew this was going to happen if I didn't do it. I'm like, it's only a matter of time before Russia gets involved, right? Turns out, yep, that's exactly right. It is exactly right. Okay, uh, march up this direction. I don't care if it's a long, long path. Go. You guys go here. They promised me territorial gains, which means I definitely want to have the lion's share of the war score. You guys go here, we're gonna split this up, we're gonna use the navy to try and uh, expedite this force. I'm gonna accept, absolutely. It's a little bit sooner than I think I was prepared for, but um, yeah, let's do it, dang it, go. Okay, pause, we converted some people, good. Uh, let's convert a few more. Can I build a new army? What's this, by the way? Oh, hi, Heavy Frigate. Oh, right. I was building ships here, wasn't I? Forgot about that. Okay, um, can we build a new army? I can totally afford it. Let's do it. Build it here. And that actually takes me up perfectly to the force limit. Excellent. That's exactly what I would have wanted. Um, I have to leave an army down here because of the unrest, unless I raised up autonomy. Which I could do. They're not cored yet, and once they're converted, the problem is solved. Raise autonomy. Let's free up an army. They're just territories anyway, right? We don't care. This... How much I can do about? Same here, actually. Um, these are colonies. You I can raise up. 
Yeah, uh, the Catholic Zealots is what I'm worried about. Are these Catholic Zealots? No, they're particularists. And they're gonna be a problem until they get converted. I think I just have to live with this. Let's go ahead and free up this army. Start marching up north. All hands on deck, everybody! We are going into the next war against a major power. Yay! Hey, look, the Papal State's involved. Actually, hey, Switzerland! Actually, no, I was gonna say, can I, can I get military access and go kill? But no, I need access through Spain. Uh, France, do you have access through Switzerland? You don't. Okay. How am I looking on... Okay, can I afford to lose some diplo power in order to get more... In order to get more military access so France can go kill the Pope? Yeah. Let's ask for military access. They'll grant it. Speed 4. Managed to convert some more heretics. Good. So, France, now you should be able to go and kill the Papal State. I hope you do that. Uh, we are going to easily win this fight against the Commonwealth ships, so that's done. Seville has been cored, or converted, I should say. Good. Okay, managed to destroy all 16 of uh, their ships. That's excellent. Makes things a heck of a lot easier for me as far as control of the Mediterranean. All right. So what we need to do then is embark this, and we'll transport them over here. There we go. Dock them up. You guys, uh, you can you can get to that fort. Okay, so we want to put our siege general in charge. Oh, wait, I lost my three siege general. No! That sucks. All right. Well, I'm a little bit worried that if I dive into this too early, then the Commonwealth will jump on an unprotectable army. Let's go instead to the woods. We'll try to take some defensive terrain. Let's let's just sort of test the waters and see how they feel. That's a lot of forts, by the way, for no siege uh, generals. Kind of sucks. All right, Russia, do your thing. Hey, Scotland, you did get called into this war, right? Oh, yeah, they totally did. Also, it's New Scotland and Scottish Louisiana. So a big colonial war going on down here as well. Well, that's fun. Okay. But it's not bad. We can totally handle this war, I think. Um, actually, things are remarkably in our favor right now. So looking fairly solid. I'm not, I'm not worried at all. Let's just try to get in this and get as much war score as possible. I need to make sure that I have announced I want all of this. All of this needs to be mine. And also, I'll just go ahead and announce I want all of Hungary. But Russia, those are the things that I want. Okay? It is critical that you give me all this stuff. Okay? Can't... Can I not... Why can't I... Cannot set because a war ally has already claimed it. What? No, you have not. Greece? Who's claimed it? France? No. I mean, I, I can see Greece saying it's a strategic thing that they want. I get that, but still. How bizarre. All right, well, I'm going to end this video here, but thank you all very much for watching. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed. Going into another world power war, which is going to be a massive stomp in our favor. We got the three largest nations in the world beating up on the fourth. I mean, this is, this is nothing short of bullying, but... Hey, I'm going to use it to my advantage. So we'll do that. Uh, hopefully this doesn't take a week, but it should be pretty good. Also, opportunity for me to get some power projection. I love that. So yeah. But I'll see you all then. Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.